All right, Dinwiddie and I are at a new spot. I think I have something amazing in this hole. Whatever it is, it's big. Oh. Oh, it's a, it's a great big Ford token. What the heck? So it says 1903 to 1933. And it says 30 years of progress. Dang, that's an awesome token. I don't know what the heck that is, but that's one cool looking lead. Yeah. So much writing on it. It's got a little house there. It says the Presto jar and something. How weird. That's a weird one. It sounded great. Yeah, I wonder where that freaking tops to. I don't know. I've never seen one of these. I'm gonna have to try to look that up. There's a little better look at the place. <laughs> seen better days yeah I mean this has been hit real hard we're just seeing what we can find look at that somebody missed a spoon oh a fork <laughs> I guess I called that too quick nice it's definitely plated not a bad looking fork the funny thing is I feel like you almost never find forks they're always spoons so that's kind of neat actually Hey, I think I got me a sheep tag. All right, let's see what number we got. Number 87. I think I got a button. What the heck is it? Huh. Oh. The navy button. Yeah, that's awesome. It's just the top. Well, I guess the backside just rusted out of there, but yeah, awesome, man. I always love getting some military stuff out of one of these old sites. Well, Dinwiddie's got a couple things. He's got a pocket pocket knife. Look at that. Lost open. Dropped it open. <clears throat> and we got a big spike. Heck yeah. Man, I got another spoon. This one is thin. Dang. What is up with this one? Boy, that's shining right up. Is it? Could it be? <laughs> Take a look at this thing, see if I can find a mark on it. Yeah, I'm gonna... It's flimsy, it's crazy flimsy, but it's heavy. It's monogrammed. You don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera because it's so light, like it's almost rubbed off. I have not found any markings on it, but find a dirty spot. Look at how that just shines right up. Yeah, this might be my first ever sterling spoon. Oh man, that is so cool. Never when you expect it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of amazing how much stuff is left here. Man, I would have loved to have been one of the first people to hunt it here. Here's a little two-hole button. You know, I got some sort of fancy little thing. I don't know if that was for horses or what. But we're getting close to dark, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Definitely going to have to come back tomorrow. This is not done. But now that it's daylight savings time, there's just not that much time after work. Okay, Dinwiddie and I were back for day two. He says he's got something good. He got here a couple hours before me. I haven't met up with him yet. He's still a little ways from me, but here's my first decent target. That's a little aluminum spoon bowl. Maybe a little tea party set or something. Man, remember I found that navy button yesterday? 
Look at that one. Back's torched again, but. Man, look at the front of that one. That's a freaking beauty. Dang. Wonder what year that is. So how long you been here? Uh, about an hour. Huh. Oh, tax tokens. Two Washington tax tokens, 1935, 37. Yeah, you can have that crap. I don't want to pay the government nothing. I don't want to pay them either. I'm going to keep them. Just kidding, man. Those are super cool. <laughs> they were in the same hole. But I think I have a Washington oh, and a Utah tax token. Oh, cool. But this stuff you're going to love. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to be like, why didn't I go up there last night? And they all have the shanks. I got three small ones. That's still in my bag, one of them. Two big ones and this guy here, which is off of our collar, I believe. You know what's crazy about that? Huh. I just came. I just just Sweet. barely got a navy one. That's awesome. So you got. I've got three of the. There's another one in there. So too. basically, you got two general service, but really four. Five general service in this. The other one's in here, so it's a small cuff button. Dude, congrats, man. That's yeah. a sweet pile. There was, there were like a spill of them up there around the bush. Crazy. Awesome must, day. Must be where they threw the coat. Must be. Awesome day. There was pieces of the coat still on one of them. So, anyway, that's it. How this place isn't dug out, nobody knows. This is the most obvious yeah. homestead around, obviously. I don't know how I mean, come on. that stuff up there. Well, that's why we dig it. Yeah. There's a real old Lee button right there. Nice little four hole button. But I was ringing just like a dime. Well, that's a pretty compact lid. Sort of makeup case, probably. Some fancy on there. Say I found part of a drawer pull or something. Pretty fancy. I think I just got the other half. I really thought that was going to be a coin. <laughs> Just an aluminum Lee button. I think I know what their favorite clothes were. <laughs> so I think this is some sort of hair thing. And maybe it had like fake gems or something on it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, it's getting dark. And I think that just about wraps up that site. Boy, that really exceeded our expectations. This thing has been hammered, but man, I got a bucket lister. Dinwiddie, though, man, he really racked up those buttons. What a great hunt. Some tokens. Man, this hunt had just about everything but coins. <laughs> Anyways, hope you liked it. See you next time. A little Montana traffic.